Today, I'm going to take you through quotation management within S4 HANA Public Cloud. We will cover the managed sales quotation application. From within that, we're actually going to create a sales quotation as well as look at some features and functionality. Then we're going to cover another app, quotation conversion rates. With that, let's get into the system. In the Managed Sales Quotations app, you can look at any range of quotations, those that are open, different validities. What I quickly want to draw your attention to are the valid two dates. So I can see those quotations that are about to expire, which are in the yellow font. The ones that have expired are in the red font and the ones that are in the future or still in an advanced future date are green. I can save different variants. So if I wanted to look at the overall status of open, I can do that and then save open quotations. I can also save quotations that are completed. So as you can see here, I've got multiple variants. I can also add more filters if I choose. So by selecting the adapt filters, I can add various filters fields that that I require. So for example, if I wanted to see created by, I could add that as a filter. I can also add various columns. To do that, I click on the cog and as you can see here, I have additional fields that I can add as columns. From here, I can also create a new quotation. I could select a quotation and create with reference. So that would be a new quotation with reference to an existing one. I can also create sales order as a standard order or any other order type. From here, I can also change validity of these quotations. So from here, what I'm going to do is just create a new quotation. The view you're going to see is the create sales quotation view. Here I can have multiple quotation types. In this environment, we have one. My, now my sales organization distribution channel and division was defaulted from uh, my personal settings. So here I'm just going to give it the customer, which is my sold to Barty. And as you know, I just start typing in part of the customer's name and it finds the customer for me. So I'm looking for this customer 7-Eleven. I'm going to give it a valid two date and I'll just give it a month in the future. I could give it a customer reference. And now I'm ready to start adding line items to this quotation. So here I'm just going to add a couple of products and notice as I start entering, it's adding additional lines. But what it's also doing is keeping uh, track of the net value of this quotation. But it also gives me information such as what is this customer's net sales volume year to date. So I'll just add one more. And now I have the two items on my quote and I can create. And when I save and create, it takes me to the view for the sales quotation where I can see the items and I can see all my additional information. So by clicking back, I get back to that manage sales quotation view. So the next thing I want to show you is quotation conversion rates. So this is an app that will show you, uh, it starts off at a high level with sales organization. So it's going to give you by sales org at this time, my conversion rate is 65.98. So I can drill down into that and start getting to a deeper level. So if I want to look at this by customer, for example, now it's giving me, here's my various customers for, for this. And you can see as I'm drilling in, that rate will change at the top. So now if I want to go down to the product level, here I can see that now I've gone to 66.25 for an overall. So I've gone from my customer down to my product. I see there are two products involved. 
And what I can also do is go down to the actual list of quotations. So here I can see the one quotation, the conversion rate is 50%. And if I go back one screen, I can see that for this customer, this product, this one's at a 100%. Now, if I don't want it in a graphical view, I can change it to a tabular view and I can see it that way. Now, I just have the two here, but you certainly can download this to Excel.